Yeah, this is the uh, ugly side of fishing. They don't show you. When you get up at four o'clock in the morning on your vacation, and you're supposed to be resting and have a good time, and you had to get up at four o'clock in the morning and go try to catch a fish, because you can't catch them in the middle of the day, because it's like 108 degree heat index. <sighs> Well, and yes, covering yourself in sunscreen in the dark is a good idea, despite what it looks like on this video. I know I look crazy and sweaty uh, in the dark, but uh, you should get all the sunscreen on your hands before you go out there and start fishing, and then you get sunscreen all over your lures. <sighs> yeah, all they ever show you is uh, the fun part where people are catching fish. Not the part in the morning because they're so tired and so sleepy. That they, they can't video because it's four o'clock in the morning. And yeah, I have, uh, I have sunscreen all over my face at four o'clock in the morning because you got to get prepared. This is like a military exercise. You got to get coffee. You got to make your uh, lunch, you know, whatever you're going to eat for lunch. I'm trying to make some breakfast here. We even took the time yesterday. We even took the time yesterday to make biscuits and stuff so we could eat them this morning. And we got those ready, so we got that prepared. I already got the boat lined up out there. But they never show you all this. They just show you the, like I said, the cool part. Um... But this is part of it. It's not the fun part. This is the ugh, part. Yeah, and I used to fish in tournaments and stuff, like bass fishing. And uh, you, you know, when you're getting up at three, three o'clock or four o'clock in the morning to drive two or three hours, and you're taking an emodium and all this kind of stuff, so you don't have to use the bathroom. To, you know, you're getting pretty serious into that. Tammy's working pretty hard. Apparently, I'm more prepared than she, <laughs> than she is, usually. Yeah, and if you live, uh, if you've ever lived in a trailer park, you know, there's tons of cats. There's cats everywhere. So, if you're, if you're a superstitious person, that is not the place like our trailer park apparently there's a black cat there somewhere in the trailer park it was so, just in the of park. course if there are black cats there's going to be multiple black cats <laughs> it's not just going to be one like whatever kind of cat you see in a trailer park you're going to see a hundred of them you know so anyway there's black cats everywhere so when i got up this morning the black cat was sitting not just crossing my path it was sitting on top of my truck and then when I went in to get ready and I came back out, the black cat was in my boat. So apparently it sat on top of my truck all night. And then as soon as I ran it off the truck, it got in my boat. So, you know, when I was talking about the time changing from Alabama to Georgia, and I act like that wasn't a big deal. Well, it becomes a big deal when you got to get up at four o'clock in the morning instead of five o'clock in the morning. And I know that's the same time. I mean, I understand that. But, uh, I don't know. It just doesn't seem... Four, getting up at four is a lot different than getting up at five. Look at this cloud coming our way, y'all. Now, that's pretty wild looking. And there's a little lightning in it. Look at that cloud. The cool thing is, it's not hot out here. The not cool thing is there's some lightning. So... Pray we catch a fish. All right, we're about to get caught in a storm. We were looking the wrong direction. Here comes one this direction. Uh, I'm a good woman to be out here with my man in this weather. Oh my God! Well, it's raining. Most of the lightning has passed, but when you have black cats sitting I'm not superstitious, but I don't know. A black cat on top of your truck, and then a black cat getting in your boat, and then no telling how many black cats crossed our path 
before we even got out here. Now we got run off the water by lightning. We've caught two fish, but they're catfish. I caught an ant lion. Tammy's over here digging up bugs. Okay, I think it's about time to get back on the boat. We better catch. Into, um, we better catch yeah. some fish today. When they grow up. Bye. Bye. Uh, yes, I do have to wear that hat. Um, that's as close to a Gilligan hat as I can find. Not last time, but last year. <laughs> we were driving up here to load the boat. And there was a guy, and he was standing there on the end of the dock on one of these slips. And he just stood there and kept looking and looking and looking in the water. And uh, we thought, well, what is he doing? Well, maybe this is not a good, you know, place to launch or something, you know. So we walked up there, and the guy's whole work truck was underwater. So. His truck was underwater. Like I said, it wasn't his truck. It was his employer's truck. Apparently he worked at a place where they worked on boats and the boat was gone wherever. It's floated off, you know, down the, down the intercoastal waterway. <laughs> and so we weren't there when they came and pulled him out, were we? We saw him later on, like the tow truck came and pulled him out of the water. But man, I bet that guy was sick. I wonder if he got fired. Doubt it. Probably not. <laughs>